Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to deal with overset text in Adobe InDesign and how to flow it into other text frames. Um, in this example I have a text box that has overset text. Overset text means there's additional text that does not fit in the text frame. How do I know that? If you take a look at the bottom right corner of this text box you see there's a red plus sign. That means there's more text in this box. Uh, there are several different ways of dealing with this. I can extend this text box using the selection tool. Until it hopefully accommodate, accommodates the text. But as you see, it's not working for this column. So I still have more text hidden here. So in order to deal with that, I'm going to click on this once. As you see, it loads the rest of the text here. I'm going to scroll up and then click right here. It will automatically create a text box and will place the rest of the text here. Uh, I'm going to show you a different way of dealing with that. So let's say I have a text box this size and also I don't want InDesign to insert the text to the entire column. I would like to draw the text box myself. If you wish to do that, you need to load the text. So I'm going to click on this plus sign and then I'm going to click and drag to draw my own text box. I see there's more text here. I can repeat this process by clicking here and I'm going to click and drag here as well. So the rest of the text will be placed here now. Um, I'm going to show you a different way of doing it again. So as you noticed we had to click um, and load the text a couple of times but if you hold the Alt key or Options for Mac you can do this repeatedly. So let's take a look. I'm going to click on this plus sign one more time and this time I'm going to hold Alt or Option, click and drag. I'm going to let it go and you see the text is still loaded here. So I'm going to click and drag again. So you can do this forever as long as you have your finger um, on Alt or Option on your keyboard. Um, there are different modifier keys here that I'm going to talk about again. Uh, one more time, I have this text box. Now um, I'm going to make it smaller a bit so we have more overset text. Okay, I'm going to click on this plus sign and then I'm going to hold Shift and click here once. What happens is InDesign is going to fill the page with this and also will continue and create other pages and fill the text in the pages as well as long as the text is accommodated in the document. You can also do the same thing by holding Shift and Alt at the same time but if you do so InDesign will place the text in existing pages but will not create additional pages. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.